Hello and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are well. Today we'll be looking at all the new cars coming in Update 13. They only showed us two of the four seasons, so we've got to look at summer and autumn, but winter and spring were kept a secret for reasons we'll speculate at the end of this video. The one new feature we'll also talk about at the end of this video. So if you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing, smash the like button and let's go through Update 13. Update 13 then, here we go, it's all about Porsche this month and I couldn't be happier. Who remembers the time when Porsche was DLC and we had to spend actual money? But this month they are throwing them at us left, right and centre, kicking off with the festival playlist itself. The 50% completion overall is the Porsche 906 and then 80% completion is the Porsche 911 GT1 available in the auto showroom at the moment but it is quite nice to give them that to us for free. The summer season itself for 50% completion will be the Hot Wheels Twin Mill. Quite an expensive car in the auction house, so it's quite nice we're getting that one for free. And for 80% completion will be the Porsche Carrera, the best sounding car Porsche ever made, and sounds amazing in Forza Motorsport 4. Not so good in Forza Horizon 4, but still, one of the best sounding cars ever. Up next are the two online portions of the summer season, the trial and the playground games. For completing the trial, you'll grab the Porsche 917 LH, a race car. It's the long tail version and it does look pretty cool. I reckon some top speeds will be done with this car. And then the playground games, the Ford Raptor 2011 SVT. Quite a rare car, a wheel spin exclusive car, so it's quite nice. This is in the festival playlist. And then last but not least in the summer season for completing the seasonal championships, the Subaru WRX 04, quite an exclusive car, another wheel spin exclusive car. And last but not least in the summer season is the ID Zero Uno 2018, based on a Lamborghini Huracan and an Audi R8. So it should be pretty good. There's lots of carbon fiber and lots of vents and wings and winglets and can yards and stuff like that. So it does look pretty cool and I can't wait to get my hands on it. Jumping into the autumn season then, for 50% completion, the Gymkhana 10 Ford Focus. We all know what that's about, it's just a hoon about car. Great fun, lots of power, lots of wheel spin. And then for 80% completion, the Porsche 917. Quite an old car, but still pretty cool to have that. That is also available in the auto showroom, just the same as the GT1, so you can pick that up for free instead of having to pay actual credits. And then once again, the online modes are being used, the online trial and the online playground games. The online trial, you will grab the Caterham R500 Forza Edition, and for the playground games, the quite elusive and extremely rare, another wheel spin exclusive car, the Honda Civic 2018, a personal favorite of mine. And then for the seasonal championships in autumn, you're gonna be unlocking the Porsche 356 SL, and the 911 GT3 RS 2019, a pretty hard to find car I think they said. Again, one of my favourite cars, the 911 GT3 RS. So with all those Porsches and all the brand new cars coming, they're also making some fixes to the blueprint creator for the races. They said that you can now edit the races halfway through. So if you make a 20 mile race and you mess up at the 30 mile mark, you can then go back through each checkpoint one by one and sort of teleport to each one and then modify it from there. So if you need to move it slightly to the left or make it wider or make it thinner or move it to the right or I don't know about backwards and forwards, but I know you can move it left and right. So that's pretty cool. But anything forward of mile 13, so if you edit at mile 20, anything forward of that will be deleted and you'll have to remake the blueprint but that is coming in series 14 not series 13 so keep an eye out for that they mentioned about making the garage bigger from 750 cars did also go on to say that it's not possible because it touches the save game file and they don't want to wipe or play with people's save games so that's fair enough in my view i'd love a thousand car garage with all these new cars coming we definitely need the room or the space my idea would be to have a second garage with 750 cars and you just flick between the two so the first half of the cars maybe up to say lotus will be in the first garage and then from lotus onwards would be in the second garage that's just an idea that i have and i think would work pretty well now let's touch on slightly why they didn't show the last two seasons in the line stream why they didn't show off winter and spring i potentially think now this isn't we're getting it but i potentially think it's a new 
manufacturer, a new car manufacturer, and they'll filter the cars out through the season and you have to unlock them. And I potentially think it could be Toyota. Now, EA, I think, own the rights. So if it is Toyota, we might possibly have to pay for it. But I think that's one thing that could be why they didn't show it is because they're going to filter the cars out through the season. But then if you have to pay for it and some people don't buy it, then how are they going to unlock the cars through the season if they haven't paid for it? So it gets quite complicated in that view. But I think potentially it could be a new car manufacturer and they just don't want to show it off yet. Or they're completely revamping the festival playlist and it's not finished. That's another thing I think could be potentially why. Let me know down in the comments what you think and why you think they didn't show off those last two seasons. But it's quite cheeky in my view and they gave no clues as to why either. They just said that they're not ready. That's it. So maybe they're not ready. Maybe it's just the same old, same old. They haven't finished it off yet. It was a Friday. Everybody wanted to go home. They just said, no, we'll do the live stream. We'll just tell them that it's a secret and it's all coming out soon. But there we go then. Update 13. A pretty packed summer and autumn. I can't wait to unlock all these Porsches. They look so cool. And some of the rare cars as well that are also coming. I'm just going to throw mine up on the auction house because they are worth quite a bit of money. The Porsches I'm not, I'm keeping those for myself. But the rare cars, the Subaru and definitely the Honda Civic are going up on the auction house. Make myself some dollar. Definitely subscribe if you are new. When I know more about winter and spring, I'll let you guys know. As always, thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day.